guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I've been so MIA for so long. I feel like I'm screaming at you guys, I'm sorry. But I'm super excited to be filming today. I haven't filmed in such a long time because my sister got married on the weekend. So we're gonna have a little bit of a chit chat about that. But also we're gonna talk about some of my favorite new sports girl products that I picked up. I'm gonna be using these eyeshadow palettes a lot in my next few tutorials, so get ready for it. But this is the Velvet Eyed Matte Eyeshadow Palette and this is the I Shade It Palette. Two of my favorites, love them, super pigmented. And also, I picked up a baking powder for $9.95. I love it. So if you're interested in this video, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, let's get straight into some skincare. My skin is so dry from my spray tan. And just the weekend, I was wearing so much makeup. So let's get into it by using some Fix Plus spray. This is the one that has the peach light in it by MAC. So it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. And then to properly prep my skin, I'm just going to take the Alabashe Serum. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. It is super, super dry. So just going to massage that into my hands first and slowly start to apply it all over. My sister's wedding, for those of you who didn't know, and I had the best day ever. It was like literally to the point of I got home and my feet were swollen and I couldn't even speak anymore. And it was the best day. Anyone who's ever had a sibling get married would completely understand how I feel. I was crying all day. I was dancing all night. It was just great. But I'm going to prep my under eyes with the Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten by Origin. And I've just taken a little too much on my finger there. So I'm just going to rub it into the other and slowly apply it to the under eye. So I actually used this one on Saturday and I really liked the way that it prepped my eyes. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is just take a concealer brush from Zweeva and pick up the number one and the number three of the Boying Concealers by Benefit that I always use to prep my eyes. And I'm just going to start to apply that concealer over the eyelid. For those of you who haven't watched my beauty tutorials before, and for those of you who have, you know how much I love this product for prepping my eyes. But the reason why I do this is to obviously make sure that my eyeshadow stays all day, doesn't crease and doesn't get oily. So for some reason your eyes can get a little bit oily throughout the day and your eyeshadow can start to move and go a little bit smudgy. So I always like to use that product over the eyelids first, give them a little bit of a powder down and then I start my eyeshadow. So the first hidden gem from Sports Girl that I'm going to talk about today is the All Nighter Fighter Under Eye Powder. This one is beautiful and it is only $9.95. But I'm going to use it underneath my eyes, but I'm also going to use it on top as well. I like the consistency of it. It's super, super soft and finely milled. So I'm just going to take the smallest amount and set my eyes first. I'm using the shade Banana for this because I have a spray tan, so I'm a little bit more golden. And it just comes in a super small little tube like this. And then it has a little bit of plastic that you just pop there to get as much powder out as you need. I only popped it the tiniest amount because... I like it when only a little bit of powder comes out at one time. When too much powder comes out, it goes all over my clothes. So the second hidden gem from Sports Girl I'm going to talk about is the Velvet Eyeshadow Palette. I love these shades in the center. Those three shades were just like talking to me as soon as I saw them. So we're going to apply them first in the socket line and then we're going to start to apply the other colors everywhere else. And the second palette that we're also going to use is the Matte Velvet Eyed Shadow as well. And I'm also going to use these peachy tones through the socket just to brighten them up a little. And then also use them on my cheeks as well. So just taking a 227 by Zoeva, I've just picked up the shade Throne. And we're just going to start to work that onto my socket line. This color is so super pigmented. It's going on really good. So we're just going to build that up a little bit more because I want it to pop in photos. So to keep warming up those shadows, I'm just going to take this little bullet brush and pick up the shade Kingdom. And we're just going to slowly start to work Kingdom onto the eye. So what I love to do when I'm actually putting a really ready tone without looking like it's got harsh lines, I'm stopping it just before where I place the crown, if that makes sense. So crown is all the way on the outside, as you can see here, but then Kingdom is stopping just before it. So it just makes a little bit more of like a softer, well, it looks like a softer application, even though it's not. So I've gotten loads of questions as well on if I did everyone for the bridal party. My sister had a huge bridal party of five girls on Saturday. No, I didn't do everyone. I only did me and my sister. And that was still so stressful for me. Like, I feel like her glam was great. Like, I just, I don't know. I was full focused when I did that. But then when I was doing mine, I was like, oh my God, I've stuffed it up. I put too much lashes. I didn't put enough lashes. It was like... It was stressful for me. Being maid of honor is very stressful, especially when it's for your sister. And like, it's my only sister as well. So I just felt so responsible for making her morning really smooth, trying to make it really smooth and on time. It's actually so funny because the start of the week, I was like, I'm going to vlog it and I'm going to have so much footage on my camera and I'm going to have the best vlog. I can't wait to upload it. And then it got to the day and I completely forgot that I even thought about vlogging and I didn't even have my camera on me. 
So we're slowly going back in with Crown and we're just building up that really soft transition shade and blending off any harsh edges that I've created with Kingdom. The next shade that we're going to pick up on a flat shader brush is Jewel right here, which is this super pretty gold reflecting eyeshadow. And I'm going to start to apply that in the center. Oh my god, it is so pigmented. These eyeshadows are so pigmented and so buttery. I love them. A tip that I learned in retail that's like one of my favorites with any sparkly glam is to just spray your brush. You can spray with water or a setting spray and then go back and pick up that glittery shadow and go over exactly where you placed it. So just looking at the difference between the two eyes, how much that water makes that sparkle come out. It really just comes down to personal preference. Like if you want a super sparkly eye. I actually did this for Gabby on Saturday and I loved how super pigmented the shadow looks in photos. So now that I've created so much sparkle, I need to sort of even out this area here because it's like super sparkly, super matte. So I want that transition just to be a little bit softer. So now we're just going to pick up this shade right here, which is called Just Peachy. And just with my 227, I'm going to work it on really softly and almost just go over the gold a tiny bit just to warm it up and make that transition a little bit softer into those darker colors. Okay, now it's time for eyeliner before I do anything else. So I'm just going to take my Karl Lagerfeld and Model Co. liner and just start to work that onto the lash line. I actually don't want this to have like a super long wing. Like I feel like I'm just over the wing right now. So I'm just going to apply that really, really softly to the lash line. Before I do anything else, let's go ahead and apply some mascara to pump up those lashes because I'm feeling a little bit bare on my face right now. Okay, now I'm dying to do my brows because I'm just like looking at myself in the mirror and it's like not looking exactly how I want it to look and it's because I don't have my brows on it and I usually do my brows straight away, but I forgot this time. I'm just going to take the Feather Brow from Sports Girl as well and I'm going to take the shade Brunette and just with a little spoolie, you know that I always comb my brows in an upward motion first. It's just got a super fine and wind up pencil. So I'm just going to wind it up a tiny little bit. Not too much. I never do too much because then once you put the lid on it, it squashes it down. So I'm just going to start pushing back the product. This product is a little bit more drier, which is good because it's not smudging. So we're just drawing the brow in a back and forth motion. Putting the most product in this area here because as I'm getting older, that hair is just disappearing. They say that, you know, that you lose a lot of your brows as you're getting older. That's why so many people say that once they get to a certain age, they don't even have to like maintain their brows anymore by waxing them because the hair just sort of stops growing, which is good in one way and then not so good in another way. Just sharpened up that brow a tiny bit with the concealer. I feel like this color is like perfect for me. This I believe comes in two shades. There's the ebony and there is the brunette as well. Okay, now I feel like myself because my brows are done. I feel like a human again. I'm gonna come back to these shadows once I've done the rest of my face. I'm just gonna reapply my eye cream underneath my eyes because I took a little too much of it off um, when I was fixing up my under eye. Now I love baking underneath the eyes. I love applying that translucent powder. It sets your makeup so nicely, but it's so super important to keep your skin hydrated, especially your under eye before you apply that powder. Cause it's just going to look a lot better, sit a lot better, not be so creasy and dry. That's why I'm just like so vigilant with my eye creams. So for my foundation today, I'm going to try a new one. It is the healthy elixir cover girl foundation. I don't know which shade I am yet, so we're just going to play around with the 725 and 745 and um, see what we get. So I'm just going to take a little on the back of my hand. I feel like this color should be all right. Just going to take a MAC 132 and start to apply it. Yeah, I feel like I want to go a little darker. Let's introduce the 745. Okay, that's probably like way too dark, but we're just going to mix it in. I would say that this is a really good everyday foundation, actually, because it's got an SPF of 20 in it, I believe. Um, so it would be really good if you worked outdoors. Um, and you wanted an inexpensive foundation as well. Oh my god, I look like I've got second skin. I love this coverage. Okay, let's get to my under eyes. I'm just going to take my all-nighter waterproof full coverage concealer by Urban Decay, which is probably one of my favorites at the moment. We're just going to blend that off. Okay, so now it's time to set. Let's go in with the All Nighter Fighter Baking Powder. And I'm going to pick it up with my Beauty Blender. Now I've just actually taken all the plastic off. I thought I was going to keep it clean, but it's just not. It's just not me with my makeup products. All right, we're going to pick up a generous amount with my Beauty Blender. So we're going to have quite a bit. 
and then we're going to press it onto the under eye. So a very similar technique that I was doing with my Ariel inspired glam. Oh my god, my under eye looks completely photoshopped. Okay, this powder is super finely milled and soft. So it's just going on really silky. I'm going to take a little bit around the nose and on the chin as well. So I don't know if you guys can actually see it on camera. That is how finely milled the powder is. So it's super, super soft. I'm actually baking and I'm applying so much of it. But the excess isn't coming to the surface. It's just absorbing into my skin. All right, I'm not going to powder the rest of my face. I'm just going to leave it like this because my skin has been a little bit dry. Like what I was saying earlier, which is killing me. All right, so to warm up the rest of my face, I'm just going to take my Tarte Pro Glow Palette and just pick up this Sephora cheek brush and just start to work on the product around this area here. My under eye is looking so smooth. I'm just going to take it around the temples as well. I'm just going to blend that off with a little bit of the powder left. Just a super soft contour I'm doing today. Now I'm just going to go in with this super soft brush and just flick off any excess powder that may be sitting on my skin. Okay, now we're going to go back into the Velvet Matte Eyeshadow Palette and we're going to pick up these two shades here, which is Peaches and Cream and Just Peachy. And we're just going to apply it really softly on my cheeks. I'm loving like a lot of blush at the moment. On Saturday, I actually did to my sister like a super pinky strong blush and I loved how youthful it made her look like she just looked so cute I love that all right let's get into highlighting now I actually really liked this jewel shade I think it was super super beautiful so I'm going to use that as my highlight today I'm just going to go in with my finger and apply it to the tip of my nose and softly over the nose so we're going to pop just a little bit more in that inner corner just to make it pop third last step is our under eye I'm just going to take the pencil brush and go back in with crown and just start to apply that to my under eye I just love to create like a super exaggerated under eye. So then I'm going to pick up Precious with the same brush. So it's a little bit more deeper, ready tone. And we're just going to keep applying that to the under eye. Little more mascara on the bottom lashes. All right, now it's time to apply my lashes. Before we finish and do my lips, I'm just going to take my Nikia Joy Lash Eloise. I love her lashes. She has such a beautiful range. Now that we've got those lashes on, let's go ahead and do my lips. I'm just going to use my 044 by Revlon. But today I just want to keep it super soft. Keep my eyes as the focus. And it's like a soft pink shade as well. So it's just going to look really nice with my peachy cheek. I'm just going to use a Summer Shot Billionaire from Mecca Max over the top. I like that combo. It's like super cute. So just a nice glossy lip. Just to keep everything soft and dewy, I'm just going to take my Max Fix Plus Pink Light. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You know how much I appreciate it. And Sports Girl is actually going to give my viewers 20% off. So I'm going to put the little code in the description box below. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.